It is uh, nowhere where in my pizza snuddy day because I'm trying to get stuff done and I'm cold and it's Wednesday and I only just remembered I need to film a video. This is one I've been meaning to do anyway which is just basically talking a little bit about me again so my hair's a mess because I've been doing stuff. It's a twofold because it kind of ties in with each other but it's kind of like what it's like to live with ADHD unmedicated and kind of the way I am in videos is because the fact that I'm ADHD unmedicated so for those that wa like watch my videos not just sort of like listen to them you'll notice I'm a kind of a little bit all over the place a lot of the time I'm looking all over I often look to the side and stuff like that I'm not reading anything I'm not reading a script 90% of my videos I don't have a script. Sometimes I'll have a notebook in my lap with notes. When I look down at that, I actually edit those bits out of the videos and it's just to kind of remind myself what I need to talk about so I don't forget anything. If I'm doing something that is super specific and involves a bunch of research, then I will do a script. But again, when I'm like looking at that, that is completely edited out. So you don't see those bits at all. So when I'm looking to the side and those kind of things, that is purely my ADHD running my body because I don't even realise I'm doing it. Because I'm autistic as well, looking at a camera to me and looking at the lens feels a lot the same as looking in somebody's eyes. So that makes me incredibly uncomfortable and that's why my eyes flick around and my head moves around a lot and stuff like that as well don't actually like looking at the camera. Well, it's not that I don't like it, it's incredibly uncomfortable for me. I am babbling and that's because my ADHD is massively kicking off today. When my ADHD kicks off like this, I get almost manic. When I was in my 20s, because I have a lot of moments like this, I was actually screened for bipolar and they tried me on a whole bunch of medications for bipolar and none of them wears because guess what don't have bipolar anyway staying on track ADHD can't you tell so yeah so today because my ADHD is kicking off I am trying to take absolute full advantage of it and I've started tidying and I've done something that I haven't done in months probably more like years is I put some cleaning gloves on I got a bowl and I put some disinfectant and some hot water in it and I actually cleaned the side of my sink. I've lived in this house three years. I don't I think I may have done it once or twice the whole time I've lived in this this house. Anyway, I am just kind of going for it today. So I'm sorting things, sorting through stuff that has been left for a couple of months that was left over from my original kind of like packing everything and moving it into storage. All the stuff that's left in the house I'm now going through it. It is all going into what needs to be thrown away, what actually needs to be left out because it's useful for me at the moment, what needs to be sold on eBay and what needs to be packed because it's all kind of like go, go, go at the minute. Obviously, I've started working on this podcast. I've bought a six foot table because I can't use those two rooms so I can't turn. I've got a nice big desk but it is huge and it's hard to move around and that is in one of the rooms. I can't sit at that because the room is full of mould so I can't be sat there breathing in mould. It is also cold and you can hear all the traffic. So I bought one of those fold out six foot tables and my plan is, is once I've sorted the living room out, which is what I'm doing at the minute, that table is going to go in there temporarily and I'm going to sit up, set up my laptop, my microphone, everything and I am going to do the research and I am going to write the script and I'm going to record, then hit the episodes, and I'm going to get this podcast done. So that is my plan. So that's why I need to tidy. It's kind of this, my house is a little bit overwhelming because it's like I need to do job A to be able to do job B, and I need to do job B to be able to do job C, but to do job C, I need to do job A. So it's kind of a little bit all over the place. So it's been hard finding a starting point. So when my ADHD is like this, take full advantage and I found a starting point. The starting point means I've made more of a mess at the moment, but once I'm done, there will be a lot, 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 lot less mess. 
a lot more stuff in the bin, a lot more stuff packed away. I just wanted to explain. My craziness in videos is purely down to my ADHD. I'm not going to apologise for it because, you know what, it's not my fault. It is my brain. That is how I'm wired and there's not a lot I can do about it. I don't even know I'm doing it. So, that is it from me this week. Thank you for watching this video and keeping up with all my craziness. I hopefully will be back to a better content video next week, but that is it from me. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.